Good afternoon. My name is Tina Glandian. I'm an attorney from the United States, and I'm representing Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate alongside their Romanian legal defense team. We were in court this morning where the defense team made extensive legal arguments. Am fost în la curtea de apel astăzi, unde echipa apărării a făcut demersuri majore pointing out the lack of evidence against the Tate brothers. În care s-a pus în discuție ca motiv principal lipsa probelor în cazul fraților Tate. And then Andrew and, and Tristan took turns each addressing the court and they were both very forthcoming. Uh, Andrew și Tristan au uh, dat declarații pe rând în curte și la curtea de apel și au fost uh, niște declarații importante as they have been throughout this entire investigation and they asked the court for their freedom based on the lack of evidence against them and the lack of any cr criminal history that neither of them has. Ei și-au uh, și cerut drepturile de eliberare din arestul preventiv pe baza lipsei de probe și pe baza lipselor antecedente, lipsei antecedentelor penale. There were also additional factors mentioned One of which is the fact that Tristan has a new three-week-old baby who he has never met because uh, he's been... Just a second, Tina, because I need to ahead. remember. Sure. Um, yes, uh, my first she, uh, uh, my first aduse și alte argumente, ca de exemplu faptul că Tristan are un copil de trei săptămâni pe care nu a avut oportunitatea să-l întâlnească încă. Because I was going to say he... The, he's been in custody, the brothers have been in custody longer than his baby has even been alive. Pentru că frații Tate au fost, uh, sunt în arest de mai de mult timp, adică nu a apucat să-și cunoască copilul pentru că a fost arestat înainte, a fost reținut înainte de a-și putea cunoaște copilul. We are now awaiting a decision by the court and we are hopeful that they will do the right thing and let the Tate brothers out of custody. Uh, așteptăm încă decizia curții, speram să avem un răspuns până acum, dar, cum știți foarte bine, nu se poate anticipa ora la care vom avea rezoluția. Uh, suntem plini de speranță, suntem optimiști și avem încredere că sistemul își va face treaba. It's no secret that the Tate brothers are, are controversial public personas. Nu e un secret că frații Tate sunt persoane publice controversate. But this is not about their public persona and whether you agree with their viewpoints or not. Dar aici nu este vorba de personalitatea lor publică este vorba de persoane private și nu este vorba de a fi de acord cu punctul lor de vedere sau nu. Aici este o chestiune legală. This is about the violation of international human rights and the due process of law. Uh, se pune în discuție respectarea drepturilor internaționale și violarea drepturilor internaționale a unei persoane uh, și de procedurile legale care se aplică în cazul de genul acesta. So far, the system has failed. Până acum, sistemul nu, nu a funcționat cum trebuie, să spunem așa. The Tate brothers, who are both U.S. citizens, have been in jail for over 30 days now without bail and without any charges being filed against them. Uh, frații Tate sunt uh, în arest de peste 30, au fost reținuți de peste 30 de zile Uh, fără posibilitatea, fără să li se oferă posibilitatea de a posta cauțiune sau de a fi eliberați condiționat. Uh, and again, Tina, can you repeat the last part? Without bail. Without and... bail and without any charges being filed against ah, și them. Și foarte important, fără ca acuzațiile să fie formulate împotriva lor. Deci, deocamdată, nu au fost puși sub acuzare, sunt doar reținuți într-o anchetă. This investigation started in April of last year. And the fact that today is February 1st and no charges have been filed in the 10-month period should speak volumes as to the state of the evidence. Faptul că această investigație, această anchetă a început din aprilie și suntem acum în februarie, deci este aproape un an de când a început această investigație și totuși nu au fost pus sub acuzare, spune foarte multe despre probele existente în momentul de față în dosar. The continued detention of the Tate brothers under these circumstances is a violation of international human rights law and of the EU guidelines and Romania obviously is a member of the EU. În momentul de față, reținerea și prelungirea arestului preventiv noi considerăm că constituie o violare a drepturilor umanitare internaționale 
atât în ceea ce privește legislația internațională, cât și legislația României, care în mod cert face parte din Uniunea Europeană și se supune regulilor și regulamentelor din Uniunea și legislației Uniunii Europene. So despite what anyone's viewpoint might be as to the Tate brothers and if they agree or don't agree, everybody should be concerned about this global issue. Noi considerăm că este o, un, o chestiune globală și indiferent de pers părerea personală pe care o are cineva, dacă rezonează sau dacă nu rezonează cu stilul de viață al fraților Tate, cu felul în care ei își, își expun viața și aleg să-și trăiască viața personală, aceasta este o chestiune de interes global în ceea ce privește și creează un precedent în ceea ce privește violarea drepturilor omului. My firm has joined the Romanian legal team because we want to ensure that our citizens are protected when they're abroad. Uh, firma lor, uh, firma pe care Tina o reprezintă, a decis să se alăture. Oh, that's great. A decis să se alăture uh, echipei din România pentru că vor să se asigure că cetățenii americani sunt protejați cum trebuie și că le sunt respectate drepturile cât ei se află pe teritoriul unei alte țări indiferent dacă aceasta este România sau orice altă țară. And we will continue to fight to get the Tate brothers out of custody and home where they belong. Și vom continua să luptăm pentru a aduce pentru a scoate pe frații Tate din arest și pentru a aduce acasă unde ar trebui să fie momentul de față. Um, and now I can take some questions. Uh, putem uh, puteți adresa întrebări? So to answer your question, there are due process rights um, especially for pretrial detention. In this case, there aren't charges yet, so it's considered a preventative detention. And so you're supposed to have the least restrictive alternatives imposed. And there's no doubt that incarcerating and jailing someone with no bail is the harshest sanction you could impose. And the, the circumstances here don't warrant it, where there's no charges, they have no prior criminal history, and the government is always in a position to take away passports and to impose any conditions, whether it's house arrest or other forms of supervision, to make sure the person doesn't flee. Again, I don't believe they're a flight risk. They've known since April that there was an investigation. If they intended to flee, they've had 10 months. They could have left Romania. They have not. They have ties here to the country. As I gave one example, Tristan has a newborn baby who's Romanian who's here. Um, and so there's absolutely no indication that they're a flight risk. Can you clarify about the passports? Uh, I actually am not in a position to answer that question right now. Given the serious allegations against the Tate, um, the Andrew allegation of rape, as well as evidence which the police say was seized at the villas, including weapons such as guns, knives, and stacks of cash, how safe is it for these men to be released? And secondly, can you just clarify the information given to you by the judge as to why, so far, they haven't been released? To answer the first part of your question, um, of course, they're once even charges are filed, they're presumed innocent. In this case, there's no charges that have even been filed. So to talk about the seriousness of the allegations, of course, they're very serious crimes. Nobody disputes that, but there is insufficient evidence that they've committed these crimes because they haven't even been charged and the police have had ample time. They've been investigating since April. They've basically had these men under surveillance this entire period and they haven't charged them with a single crime. So they've been in jail now for over 30 days without so much as a single criminal charge against them. And, and t in terms of why the judge has explained so far why they haven't been released, what evidence have you told them? We, we feel that there's outside pressures and that this is not based on the actual evidence because, again, the evidence is very weak, and if there was any evidence, we believe they would have been charged by now. Okay. There's an ongoing investigation at the moment, so there's certain things I'm limited to saying, so I don't want to address that right now, but 
in due time, we will be speaking about that. The hearing are, the hearings are private. Yes. Okay. Uh, you talked about the uh, U.S. citizens' rights, but we know the Can you please introduce yourself, sorry? Hmm? Can you please introduce yourself? Well, I can stand with you 24, Romanian television. Oh, okay. If you're Romanian television, you can speak in uh, Romanian and I will translate, please. So regarding the regarding the ongoing investigation, they know that the the, the inquiry started once uh, the uh, American embassy yeah. has At, uh, I miss what has uh, has uh, alerted. <laughs> oh, yes. So when they were alerted that two uh, girls from the United States have been kidnapped and they were at they were at the Tate's resident at the Tate residence. And we reject those allegations. We don't think there's absolutely any evidence of that. There has been made public certain evidence again. As an attorney, I don't want to speak as to the facts of the case since there is an ongoing investigation. But but there is information already in the public domain. There's videos online that dispute these allegations. And the only evidence that I've seen other than the allegations are exculpatory for the Tate brothers. How do you how do you see how does the team see the fact that it's actually the US embassy that has alerted the Romanian authorities? I think the US embassy has a duty to to pursue any sort of complaint and so I think if the embassy alerts authorities, that's what it's supposed to do if it receives a complaint. I don't think that goes to the credibility of the allegation nor does it mean that it's true. They're just doing their job. Uh, no and the embassy is not in a position to investigate. Uh, so, as a woman attorney and as a career woman, yes, probably they're hinting at feminism as well. Uh, how do you see the fact that the girls working for the Tate brothers were obliged? It's the allegation. It's not the fact. It's the allegation that uh, the girls working for the Tate brothers were obliged to wear the tattoo to wear that, you know, that mark, if you want to say. Um, again, we, we dispute the allegations. The brothers vehemently deny the allegations. And so I've seen no evidence to support that allegation. And... Uh, Noi acum speculăm că asta s-a întâmplat, dar la fel de bine putem să speculăm și că nu s-a întâmplat. Până când organele competente nu vor ajunge la o rezoluție, rezumția de nevinovăție primează. Dar vreau să vă rădurăsc cu Andana 1. Aș vrea să o întreb dacă nu s-a ești angajată direct de către frații Căriței, de către Sfântii Murămii, și dacă se ocupă de o anumită parte a procesului, nu știu să... Ok, am înțeles. Care este structura echipei, practic? 
Okay. Uh, they want to, this is uh, Antenna One, they want to know uh, if you are retained directly by the Tate brothers and what is your role within the legal team? Um, yes, my firm has been retained <coughs> directly by the Tate brothers and we will be assisting to the extent possible in Romania and f for the foreseeable time being and then we will advise beyond that. Da, este angajată direct de către frații Tate și va asista în limitele legale în care legea din România și procedurile din România îi permit. Eu vreau să vă Okay, stay at the doctor. She the budget. Okay, so she appreciates what you have said regarding the the reduced flight risk of the Tate brothers. Uh the patient part of the bonita rock. Okay, so when the first appeal uh, against the, the uh, brothers being retained has been filed, the prosecutor's argument was that the Tate brothers can uh, apply uh, psychological pressures on the victim. What is your, your opinion about the prosecutor's statement? It's, it's a statement by the prosecutor. It's unsupported. Again, I emphasize the fact that we're February and they've been investigating since April. If they had sufficient evidence of that, if they had sufficient evidence of anything, they would have filed charges by now. Instead, they're just detaining them. They're prolonging the detention. They're hoping in the interim, while they're in custody, they find some evidence to keep them on something. But as we sit here today, there is no proof of anything, including that allegation. Do you consider this is a subjective question? Do you personally consider that once somebody has more than three complaints against them filed, do you consider that to be like an alarm bell? Um, I don't because I think there are certain people who put themselves in the, in the public eye who are targets, who will have three or five or 20 because they have money, they have opinions, and they, are, they naturally make themselves a target. So I think it's expected when somebody's in um, the public eye, and we've seen this before with uh, other clients, with celebrities. So I'm not surprised, and I don't think the fact that there's more than um, a few complaints means that there's strength in numbers. I don't agree with that. Prin prisma faptului că ei sunt persoane publice, atrag un anume fel de atenție și acesta nu este un caz obișnuit și fiind atât de expuși, nu considerăm că este și din comun să aibă mai mult de trei plângeri dar at sau trei plângeri sau mai multe, atâta timp cât aceste plângeri nu sunt substanțiate cu probe, atâta timp cât nu există nici măcar punere sub acuzare, există doar o suspiciune și există doar niște mărturii. La momentul acesta suntem în anchetă. Da, dar știm Asta nu este problema noastră, nu este de competența noastră, noi nu reprezentăm poliția voluntari. Dumneavoastră știți, din nou și acolo există o investigație. A fost o percheție, există o investigație. Nu știm care sunt motivele. Nu putem să speculăm care au fost motivele pentru care acele plângeri nu au fost înaintate. Nu ține de noi. Okay, so it's the question that we have anticipated. What is the strategy further down the line if uh, the Tate brothers are not released today? We intend to, I will consult with my Romanian legal counsel here and we will take the next appropriate steps. Um, I believe we'll be asking the court for bail to let them out on bail um, and other conditions and we'll explore what other alternatives we have to, to make sure they get home. Uh, în continuarea demersului vom, vom face cerere de eliberare pe cauțiune, dar important este de știut din partea avocaților din România este faptul că noi am depus deja două cereri în vederea administrării probei, probelor, pentru că 
partea uh, apărarea fraților Tate, încă nu, cererile noastre de, de admitere de probe nu au fost încă soluționate nici până la ora aceasta. Deci noi intenționăm să cerem în continuare administrarea de probe. Asta este foarte important și așteptăm uh, rezultatul de la percheziția informatică, care este foarte relevant. Nu, se referă la sistemul din România. So, what, she, what she's saying is that uh, at this moment there are charges pressed against the Tate brothers. That's what she is saying. No. She is asking whether you are uh, judging from a U.S. law state of no, point no. of view or Romanian. And I no, said under Romanian for sure. Correct. I'm saying this based on Romanian law, based on um, my Romanian legal defense counsel's consultation and their interpretation of what's been happening in the proceedings. As we sit here, there are no criminal charges. This is. They haven't been indicted yet. Sunt cercetați, nu sunt adimiți. This is... Sunt cercetați la momentul de față. So they, are not, they are not indicted, they are under investigation. They are under investigation. This is a preventative detention este while they preventiv. investigate. În timp ce se desfășoară ancheta. Nu sunt inculpați. Nu există un dosar în care să fie inculpați. Ei sunt în investigație, în anchetă. Okay, maybe one last question. Uh, o ultimă întrebare? Can I just ask a quick procedural question? Sure. Um, are you allowed to make arguments in court um, or do you have to go through your Romanian defense team? Correct, yes. I am not authorized under Romanian law to appear before the court and argue. I was present in court today observing the proceedings and I could consult with my counsel, but I cannot argue before the court. Maybe ask for the okay, maybe one last question? Uh, and again, one last question from you and one last question from the Romanian press after that. Thank you. And somebody who hasn't asked questions yeah, before? Dacă e cineva care nu a pus întrebări până acum și dorește să pună întrebări? Okay, so then then let's just go ahead. I know you said that you, you couldn't talk about the outside pressures, um, but it is very difficult to get any handle on what you're trying to say. Is, is there anything you can say about that, just to narrow that down a little bit? Um, not at this time. I think you'll you'll hear from us again soon, but we, we are waiting on the court's decision today, and we want to be respectful of the process. And are you still expecting a decision today? Yes, know? that's what we're told. We're hopeful that it comes today, yes. Deci am spus avocații au declarat că în acest lucru există persoane pe care procurorii le consideră victime și aceste persoane nu și în lucru cine vorba să simt că ele nu au fost victimele primei infracțiuni. Întrebarea este cum au ajuns să fie victime în acest dosar dacă ele simt că nu au fost ajutate? So, uh, she's asking regarding the two victims that were declared by the prosecutors as victims in the files, but they are not. They have appeared on the media supporting the Tates and saying that they aren't actually victims. The question is, how did they end up as victims in the, in the investigation? That's a great question. Bună întrebare. Și noi ne întrebăm. That's my response. It's a great question. If If they've come forward and publicly said they're not victims, then it makes you ask yourself, why have they been listed as victims? And what's the state of mind of the other alleged victims?